I'd like to see Oremus go top and kill this uh, Tidehunter who actually went all the way back and they might get first blood here. The diving on Celery is going to go down. Meanwhile, Boom trying to man up against Sumail, but that is a dangerous proposition when he's in Metamorphosis. He'll have to back off. Immediately marched over to top. He did have the Observer Ward, so he's seen some of this movement, but they're going to commit heavily for him, laying into him with the Mortimer's Kisses and plenty of damage courtesy of the Lycan. They get the kill. That is one way to kill him. I mean, that is definitely worth that they know there's no vision and they have pretty deep vision themselves. And that's going to go to Boom, who probably isn't the best target to give it to, but... Drops the Wukongs. They're going to initiate on Seb of all heroes. He gets off the Ravage on three. It was He's stolen. I, I Big see, play by Aramis. They got to dive him and kill him off or get the hell out. They can't hesitate. They go on Toby with the stun. Seb now sitting back. I like walking to in, what's to right do now. with these Lycan creeps? Viking are hanging about. Seb's diving in. He wants to walk into this. I don't know. This is a little dicey. They're trying to bait out the Ravage. It feels like No Tail just keeps on dancing in and out. Lotus Orb is there. And Seb, perhaps in too far. The Balance Strike just barely missing him. That might be enough to save his life. Mortimer's Kiss is committed. He gets swapped out. He's still alive. The Ravage comes through, connects on the two backliners. Soxa and No Tail. It's a huge opening for Viking. They do lose their Aegis. There's the stun on the Weaver. Can they burst him down? You betcha. Viking. Viking, big plays. They did have to commit the ages for that. Egg on the back line. A Shad charges in and quickly eats the stun. Seb now rejoining the fight. Wants to come back in for round two, but Toby missing on the chain. Should be okay for the moment. Sumail is uh, now ready to fight. Has the butterfly completed. Closing on a BKB, but with no egg, no ravage, it's tricky to get in. There. Not a great situation. Rock in a hard place. Seb, well. He's the big green bastion, and he's going to force them back. Toby getting caught out up on a cliff. It looks like they maybe want to de -ward. The Mortimer's Kisses come in. They do get the trade here, but it's a core for support. Not ideal. Sumail holding on to his BKP. He's got the Sunder. The Ravage comes through. Boom, standing in the midst of it. Now commits the BKP. He's just going to start smacking away. They lose the egg. It's a two for two. Better than I thought it was going to go for Viking with how that began. Where, you know, there'd be those games where he's just a ticking time bomb while 4v5, they're somehow keeping it close or even winning. Yeah, OG can play this 4v5 style where their carry can just chill and have a dream game. And so far, this has been the case. They can't really deal with Sumail. They've got the Ags on the Weaver now. Uh, the amount of burst damage that they can put out onto him twice. I mean, it's like he has two Sunders. I mean, they're going high ground with no Ravage and no fear either. Sumail getting chipped a little bit here and there, but he still has, still the, has the Aegis, still has the BKP. They've got the time lapse as well. Celery getting swapped oh, out man. and quickly deleted. I think he got like three shot there. And, and they're, they're just going to throw it. Sumail says, let's kill the tier fours. Let's force this buyback at least. Ravage going down in 30. Uh, now hitting buffer building. Uh, maybe a little premature. OG are going to think better of it. Yeah, they're going to calm down. But Viking, well, they're going to heat up. He gets the two hero boundless. Follow up is there. Drops the Wukong. But Sumail just mans up and starts hitting. <laughs> what am I watching? He's in melee form and he's just forcing the Monkey King away. Who's the big bad boss now? Shad on the chase. Going for Socks on the backside. Toby's got to run to the left. Boom as well. Scattering back their cores. Just they can't stand against Sumail. Metamorphosis or no metamorphosis. They run down Aramis. They'll finish him off. And Seb getting some good use out of that chat wheel. Swap in, you know. Yeah, he he used it in the middle of that fight. I have to imagine it, it might be better on their Tidehunter, but they gave it to him anyway. So this is why you're sitting here casting, Will. True. I don't understand this strat. Yeah. No one understands OG, but they understand exactly what they're doing as the Mortimer's Kiss has come out. They're going to lose no tail. No cheese for you this time. Is this the opening? Can Viking turn it back around? Stolen Sakuchi. He's just burning down. It won't matter. He skitters away and slowly roasts in the flames of the Phoenix. Soxa also retreating. Seb is getting out of there. They got another tier three tower. It's a headlong chase. The time lapse goes off in 33 and he'll survive for the moment. Well played by Soxa, but now 30 Three, getting followed up on, ganged up upon, and will die in Sumail. He's just going for tier four. They've let them on a merry chase. While he tries to throw it, OG are trying to speed run this game number one. Sub 30 minutes. Do they even know this is happening? Uh, there's a lot going on on the backside. They've isolated the tide hunter. They're going to get the kill on him, and Sumail will be denied. The glyph comes out. They want to use this meta Aegis real bad. Weaver's still here. You know the other two would be buying back, but they can't. 
Okay, so here's Here the power down. move by Boot. Look at him slowly marching in. Sumail getting to work with the BKB, forcing Boom out of the Wukongs, and now the Ravage. Follow up from Seb. They're farming them at the, in the shadow of their fountain. They're getting the kills as well. The throne's exposed, but they want some more blood first, and they may end up overextending. Sumail, fine for the moment. They still keep on working on him. Toby trying to bring him down. BKB is over. Out of position. He'll go down once. Can they kill him a second time? Now Seb's like, guys, let's hit the throne, but he doesn't have his heavy hitter. Sumail getting chain stunned. Sumail is in too deep. Sumail is probably going to die here. No tail holding onto the swap, though. They get the heal from the Phoenix. Just kidding. It's a trap. He backs away to safety. The egg gets dropped. Right they need all of the egg. Goes in. Now the Mortimer's kiss is low. Sorry, rather. The Will Shredder does finish off the egg. Toby chaining away to the south side. Sumail is being saved for the moment while Shad chases down the back lines. Exposed throne, but hanging on Viking with the hell of a fight to keep them in this one. Now Mortimer's kiss is coming out, and Seb's going to go down. Sumail's still running backwards. He's got the Satanic cooling down, the BKB cooling down. Hell, by the time they finish chasing him, he might just have a metamorphosis online. Does manage to get the Sunder off on Toby. Toby, standing his ground. They get the stun. He gets the BKB. Sumail's able to fight through this one. He gets the kill. Unfortunately, though, he is a melee hero. But gets oh, another. He's just, he's just walking at them. Oh, the big bad wolf ain't so scary anymore. The party horns are being sounded. Slow him wolf. Seb continues to chat wheel away. Just death marching down mid. The slow again from the reflection. The death is a triple for Sumail. OG are relentless. And does he just go down mid? Does he just throne it? The ultra kill for the Sumail. Illusion. Getting kills with the illusions. Now onto the throne. Boom trying to slow him down. He's got another Wukons. This fight just has lasted so damn long. He's walking towards the fountain. He's going into the fountain. He's he wants the, the satanic. He wants it. He wants it bad. Is he going to get it? He fights for all he's worth. Sumail, can he get Boom a time? No, does get it. Just, no, doesn't. Doesn't. He lives. He lives. Sumail has to back away. Now he's still alive through it all. Getting uh, slowly worked down. Now more quickly with up with the Fallon. Still fighting. Still fighting. Shad's going to drop. Finally, no buyback on the like it. And the death of Big Bad Sumail. <laughs> Holy crap. 90 seconds on the deathbed. Still the throne standing. Barely even tickled during all of that. Oh, gee. The circus is in town. And Viking are going to find another kill. It's a team wipe for the Vikings. Do you feel it? It's go time. There's the swap to start, the stun to follow, and Toby almost dead. The Lotus Orb keeping him alive. In fact, Boom gets the first kill. The Mortimer's Kiss is coming in. Sumail is strong, of course. They're holding on to the Ravage. They don't have a buyback on this Venge. Sumail trucking down mid, and they're just saying, bypass the Terror Blade. We'll deal with him later. Seb, Seb, is he going to get off this Ravage? He does, and it manages to catch the Rubik, so there won't be a stolen Ravage in this fight. Boom, also in danger. Booms down. Sumail chucking damage out, and the GGs finally come.